18 groups, more than 300 singers, three categories, and six weeks of competition. Tonight, we'll choose two groups from each category to advance to the grand finale. Season five has been fantastic. It's gonna be really hard to narrow it down to just two for each category. Let's start with high school. The hill tones from St. Johnsbury Academy, effortless soprano, so many interlocking parts, a really difficult arrangement. South Avenue from Plymouth South High School, very ambitious. Those tempo changes, I mean, I don't really know how they pulled it off. That really rich Michael Jackson medley, that came from Harmonix from Dartmouth High School. They had a really solid start and a really solid finish. Accent a cappella from Lincoln Sudbury High School. A really fascinating and really strong soloist there who led us right into that song. Strawberry Fields from Connecticut. They were really terrific. A very sobering, heartily and deservedly delivered message about change. Just two more groups and both these groups will be joining the finals. Boston Arts Academy, the spiritual singers, they were able to bring it. Such consistency, the power and the passion of singing that music, it really speaks to who they are. And also Lexington High School Magical Singers, such precision, just great singing and fun to watch. And then college, we had, you know, such diversity again. It was really hard to, to pick who was going into the finals. Oh, little ghost, you see the pain. Starving artists from Brandeis University. I thought it was a very layered, intricate, kind of show off y arrangement. Now you're gone and, I say amen. and then we had the Choral Larrys of MIT. It was very dramatic, it was very somber, so very different at the end of the day. I don't care if Monday's blue. The New Hampshire notables, I loved their solos, they had a nice look to them. It was just fun. It was just fun. I just loved that. When the road we also had the Colby 8, nice soloist. He had such power, he was captivating, and just wanted to really see where that group can go. And then our two picks. The Zumba is from Amherst College. So effortless and so sincere and just relatable. And then Pitch Please from Northeastern University, they blew me away. They were edgy, electric, evocative, energized. What more can you ask for? It's just the same old blues. Well, our adult groups, they couldn't be more different from how they looked to how they sounded. When I lift up my head. Joyful anyway, lovely basses in that group, small, tight harmony, gospel music. It was nice, it was just very homey. And then Tonehenge, they have upped their game. New jackets, I thought it was nice. They really grew and it was nice to see that. The Boston Sangerfest Men's Chorus. I was so humbled by their performance. There was just such pride and strength and wisdom. But I think we've all agreed our two finalists. Univos, this was really about song, even less than words. This was about communicating a feeling of joy, recognizing that we're in this moment in the world right now, that, that we just need happiness. And our other finalist is Labyrinth Choir. It was transportive, it was beautiful, and kind of put us in a different place. Well, there we have it. That's amazing. It's going to be an exciting fight. We have chosen two high schools, two colleges, and two adult groups as the finalists. Next week, those groups will perform one song each, and we'll pick three category winners and one overall champion. Who will take home the Season 5 trophy? Find out when you join us next time on Sing That Thing. <laughs>